Uh, so, after that, Catherine and John are still in the lead. Yeah. Final round, and this time we're mixing it up a bit. We've asked a series of quick fire hypotheticals to one of James's closest famous friends. We just need you to tell us what they answered. So, James, who have you sourced from your who's who of celebrities this week? I have sourced Mutya Buena oh. from the Sugar Babes. Oh. <laughs> we took a soup class together. You took a soup class together? Oh, we took a soup class together. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Tuesdays was minestrone. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> if you don't believe that James knows Mutya Benner from a soup class... Which I do. When we, which you do. When we recorded her questions with her, she insisted that we give James this message. Oh, lovely. Hey, James. Do you remember that time in Brighton when it was me, you, Pat Cash and a free bar? Bonkers. <laughs> Right, this question is for Cariad and Ivo. We asked, Mucha Buena, if you could only have one drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm. James, the rules? Water is free. So, mm. you've got that. that. Water is free. Right. So one and other drink. drink. Okay. What would you go for? Uh, Redbush tea. You would go with red bush tea as your That's one... very judgmental this instantly. This is the angriest he's got all season. Yeah, I, can't, I, I cannot believe you've gone red bush tea. Yeah. Harriet. So, Ivo. Uh, Bex Blue for me, please. Or any other... <laughs> <laughs> Non-alcoholic lager. Body of a temple, mind of a legend. <laughs> so you're going red bush tea? It's the saddest Which... team I've ever seen. <laughs> I think she's going to go for something a bit more uh, low-key, like uh, Mountain Dew. No one wants... <laughs> That is worse that than was, I will almost... kill you in a month. That was more judgmental than the alcohol. I'll tell you what will kill everyone, telling everyone to shove it up their bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> She's already lost three friends in her life, we know that. She's going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what are you going to go for? Uh, she's going she's gonna to go for a, a, a nice uh, alcoholic drink. Oh, what's okay. she going to go with? <laughs> Port. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh. see what Mutcha says. What is Mutcha saying? One drink just for the rest of my life. I mean, water is free, obviously. It's government juice. Rum punch. Oh, rum punch. I'm also, sorry, I'm sorry. did you notice she describes water it's... as government juice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it was excellent. excellent use of language. Right, Catherine and John, we asked Mutya Brenner if you had to sleep in one of the following tourist attractions every night for a year, <laughs> which would you choose? Inside Big Ben's clock tower. Longleat hedge maze. Your cooker, TV and bed are all in different parts of the maze. <laughs> <laughs> or on the penis of the Sanabas giant. <laughs> if you don't know the Sanabas giant, here's the Sanabas giant. Uh, I don't. Oh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> My instinct is that she would say not Big Ben's clock tower because it would be too loud, but does she know that the bell is currently being refurbished, so it's the quietest place in the country? Do you think much of Wana is aware that Big Ben is currently being refurbished, John? <laughs> well, I think she'd follow the progress of the government watch quite well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Catherine? I mean, I'm learning more about Matia as the questions go on. In my experience, any lady who likes rum punch also likes to sleep on a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you're right. No, I think I'd choose the penis one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, I, just, um, yeah do it. I think I'd, I'd yeah. I'd, yeah, that would be it. The Snabbus Giant, or as Mutya calls it, the penis one. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> I'll, I'll have the little one. Bit of fun. <laughs> Obviously, the question is, Ivo, do you want to wear a small hat or your regular hat? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to swap so you get both feels? Let's swap so we can really understand what Mitchell went through. Lovely. It fits like a glove. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Ivo, you're the only person who I've <laughs> yeah. forgotten that you're wearing the hat. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reckon uh, that she would go for the small hat because it's more discreet. But as we've established, 
Uh, she is spending her time uh, getting lashed, telling people to shove things up their bollocks, and sleeping on a, a giant chalk penis. So, <laughs> discretion clearly hasn't been uh, Mutia's game plan since about 2005. But I was one of I was one of the Three, their third album. Not a very original title, but fair play, probably wasn't their choice. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Let's see if Ivo and Carriad are correct with small hats. Ridiculously small hats. Definitely, because you can wear it in all types of ways. This would work better than a big hat, just because the big hat would just always cover your face. Mm. So this one will be perfect. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>